Yeah, it's your boy Gruff here, back with another video, and today. Uh, I got a pleasant video, video for you guys today, man. Uh, today we're going to be revisiting, not revisiting, but we're going to be looking at uh, Evolution Vegeta and M.U.Y. Goku. So this was, was in the anime, Vegeta's strongest form and Goku's strongest form because the anime stops at Tournament of Power. And these are pretty much their top forms. You know, Evolution Vegeta fights against Topo and then M.U.Y. Goku fights against Jiren, right? So I wanted to see them together. You feel me? Uh, let's see the the two saiyan duels in their you know like i said in anna in the anime their their peak their top form or their strongest form so yeah uh you guys know about any anyway, goku's thing you guys know about his auto gauge and stuff and the stuff that he can do but you know revisiting evolution vegeta i know he gets foreshadowed by kyle king goku ultra because they're literally yellow guy key saiyans from uss uh, the only thing that's different is Sun one is Sun Fam and one is Vegeta Clan, right? But so, one thing about this Vegeta, type neutral off his blue card, which is pretty nice. You know, he's a person that can really ramp up in his combos depending on your key situation. You kind of want to get around that 50 key situation. So every time he lands a card, it's a damn afflicted buffs. Um, I like one thing about his main ability. He nullifies plus cover change for some time, which is really nice as well. So we're going to be rocking them together. And depending on who we face, we might bring in Blue Beerus. We're going to bring in Green Vegeta. Probably won't be bringing in Goku Vegeta, but I just want them for that Z ability for the double attacks and everything. So, uh, yeah, let's follow, follow for let's get on with the first match. First match, facing up against a double Goku auto gauge team. So, uh, this is a team that's just, you got to really stay patient with this team. You got to play patient when you face against a team that has double the uh, auto gauge things. Because if you play pass, if you play aggressive, they're going to, that's, that's what they want you to do. They want you to, to play to like play annoyed and play and just not play calm they want you to play aggressive so they can take advantage of the amount of auto gauges they have the chances of them getting pvs and all that stuff that's what they want you to do so you got to always just make sure you just take your time against this team bro just take your time uh it's gonna be annoying right like i've made I've, i ran the team i even made a guide i'm in a team video on them two together so it's very annoying and if you don't play if you don't if you play hastily then they, that's what they want you to do, right? So we class in the middle with MUI Goku right here. I think we actually lose by like one, actually. So I have not landed a, a card, a combo on him yet. So that's kind of, you know, it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating. But uh, he does go the blast card right there. Vegeta does get that blue card type neutral. It doesn't really do that much damage, but, it, you know, it's, it's something, right? So at least did dealt some type of damage. So... I'm using my cards here. He has no gauge, so I land attack right here, and this is when Evolution Vegeta shines. I pop the main ability, so he can't go to UI Goku for the cover change. So now I'm able to use these strike cards all in a row. If he wants to go to UI Goku, I mean, I, yeah, UI Sign Goku, he can, but instead he just lets Vitals die, which is actually a smart thing to do. So yeah, I sell my old card here. I pop the blue card. He actually goes for the tackle, and uh, he does attack. So I have my auto, my universe cover change with UI Goku. I use my first one right there. And all I need to do is just land one more combo. Once I land my last, my next combo, I can rise and rush somebody. So he doesn't have his gauge with MUI, so he goes to UI sign right there. And I kind of just, like I said, you got to play patient as well. You got to play patient dealing with the double auto gauge thing. So I sized up there. He kind of just sits there and wait, trying to restore his vantage. So I was like, all right, I got my Dragon Balls. Let me just rush you, right? So uh, if you want to play super passive like that, I was able to get my Dragon Balls and rush him immediately. And he doesn't guess me. So I was able to now get to a 3v1 situation. Now the auto double auto gauge team is really good, right? Like it's pretty annoying to deal with, but once, you know, if you Goku and UI sign Goku, they're very squishy units. So once you kind of land your combo on them, it's kind of basically over uh, <laughs> because they both of them can't tank as well. And if you are rocking like droids, for example, and have that green card to like nullify spells of cover change, it's kind of rats for that team. But at the beginning of the match, it's definitely annoying because you can't really find a opening like that because you have both done with double universe cover change. They both have the double gauge. They both have their regular gauge, right? So it's just, and then they can buy time each time. So they can be in a standby and just restore their gauge and just bring them back in and rinse and repeat. So yeah, we're still have to deal with this Goku's gauge right here. I finally got his gauge out, but he 
was able to counter it. He was able to land his combo. So he pops the main. And I think I actually go to Emuai Goku right here just to take this damage so go the green Vegeta doesn't die. And then when he pops his oak card, I let Evolution die because Evolution Vegeta is type disadvantage. It would be no it'll be dumb if I let Emuai Goku die instead of Evolution. So yeah. Um put ourselves in a two V one situation still, right? Like I said, I got rid of his gauge. So I sidestep right there. We do get the PV right there. So what I do is I pop the main instantly with Vegeta so I can get that double card draw speed starting early instead of late in the combo. So I can at least get through his first life. So delivering every time Vegeta lands a card, bro, he's he's getting he's getting damage afflicted buffs, right? So we go through his first life and now I can pop the old card and get the LF with Vegeta. I wanted to get the LF with Goku, but we didn't draw another card. So I was just like, bro, let me just play it safe and let me just rise and rush now and don't try to cost the game because, uh, <laughs> you know, that's definitely possible against an MUI Goku player. So first match right there, we started off terrible. But like I said, when you face those double auto gauge Gokus, you gotta you gotta play calm. You gotta play patient, bro. You can't you can't play aggressive because that's what they want you to do, and that's how they capitalize um, them two together. So, yeah. Um, next match facing him against USS. So he has Frieza. Like I said, we were just bringing the same three. I attack immediately with Vegeta, which, like I said, I was playing too aggressive right there. He was he was able to uh, take advantage of that, so I PV him right there. Popped the blue card because I was like I said, I was not really expecting the PV. So uh, I guess kind of just clicked the random card. What I should have done was pop the strike card and actually land a combo. But he PV me, he PVs me right back. So I kind of just instantly go to the Vegeta. And I think he actually goes to Frieza right here. So I kind to switch to the green Vegeta because green Vegeta is basically our tank for... If I'm rocking these three together, green Vegeta is basically our tank because Evolution Vegeta's flawless defense is not enough. And then you got MUI Goku's relies more off his gauge so he does he's not really a tank unit as well so vegeta is kind of like our main tank even though he's the one that really provides the support and he probably does the most damage on our team like that's why vegeta is the best zen kai in the game right now who knows the bb is going to dethrone him but as of now he's the best zen kai because he does everything bro he's amazing he's amazing so uh yeah so i'll go here i tap him out there just to get rid of his vanish right so i you know he gets with the mid-range strike right there was not expecting that because I got rid of his vanish and stuff, so I was not expecting him to do that. But uh, that's you know sometimes you gotta make those type of plays, right? So I go to this evolution Vegeta. He does not have his rush, which I was surprised. Like I thought, like by the time like 135 time accounts that you would have your rush, but you know looking at my cards, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have my rush either. But he land more combos than me, so I popped the main there. I attack PPVB once again, so he pops his main ability. He nullifies plus the cover change. So now I'm thinking, all right, bro, like someone is most likely going to die here. Frieza has the card draw speed, so Evolution just dies here. Evolution couldn't really do anything in this match. So here, you know, uh, he goes with a, I think he actually goes with a mid-range strike again, which was a terrible play by him, right? I think he actually goes with a mid-range strike right here. Yep, so I was able to sidestep it. And then, you know what, Vegeta, we got the lock-in. So all I did is just pop the old card, lock into Goku, and then we just take him out. So... Uh, yeah, so now we gotta just deal with the Angel Go to Frieza and, and Blue Vegeta. Now, Blue Vegeta is actually gonna be the most important person that I deal with because he has type advantage against one of my units, and Angel Go to Frieza is type neutral. So, right here, I'm just trying to land these cards as, cost, as much as possible so I can buy, so I can reduce Green Vegeta's time account, right? So, I go there, pop the, my, uh, the rush right here, and he actually lets go of Frieza, which is actually a smart thing to do because. Um, all he has to do, if he rushes the green Vegeta and kills him, and it's a blue versus red, you know, he's type advantage, he should be able to win that match against MUI Goku. So, we take out Angel Golden Freezer right here. So, now it's a 2v1. So, what I do here is I pop the main ability right here just to see if he plays aggressive, but he doesn't. So, um, yeah, he pops the blast card. I'm able to evade that right there. So, then, yeah, I'm, ch I'm chilling here. We get the PV. I go to the green Vegeta because, no, I actually stay in with the Goku just to buy a little bit more damage. Then I go to the green Vegeta and I'm charging up my key. Pop the blue card right here because I thought he was going to play aggressive and do a full range blast card, but he doesn't. He actually waits and sidesteps and he actually rides and rushes me right here. So I'm actually in a pickle right here, but I actually pop the, I actually pick blast card and he, that's what he actually picks two for his rise and rush. So then I actually get some. Which actually came in clutch because if I didn't guess him, I would have lost the game. So yeah, right there he forfeited because 
if he didn't rush, if he doesn't kill my Vegeta, the game is over. Like that blue Vegeta is not gonna, is not gonna win the two v one. Uh, he doesn't do that much damage. He's a defensive unit. So, yeah, um, got lucky right there with the ruck, with the rust guest right there. But you know, sometimes you need that with legends in these matches, right? So next match, red, red, purple. Um, this is a really, really strong team, bro. You have the droids, you have MUI, you have Cell, bro. Really, all five top tier units. So. Once again, I actually bring in beers this time because you know we're facing with we're dealing with two reds, you know, or you know, well we're dealing with 17 and then 18 of extra damage to blue. So what I do here is I sidestep, right? He attacks me immediately. I was not expecting him to do that. I thought he was gonna sidestep again. So right here, um, if he does go to 18, we do have Vegeta. Vegeta does extra damage to 18 and Cell, so that's pretty nice. Of uh, Vegeta right there. So tapping him there, get rid of his little auto gauge. I'll go to Blast Card. Uh, he sized up right there. I popped the main, got him in the time trap right there, the frame trap, you know, the time stop right there. So now what I'm trying to do is trying to get Cell down to half his health, right? So I get him half, half like down half his health. I'm able to pop Beerus' uh, green card right here. But the fact that the fact that Cell increases your blue card, I couldn't use my blast card then the blue card because if I could have, if I didn't have, if I had 50 on my blue card i could have popped the blast card and the blue card that would have killed beers i mean killed cell but the fact that cell increases my blue card i didn't have enough key for that so i popped the blue card with vegeta right there every time vegeta pops the blue card it is type neutral because uh that's just part of his kit so right here i've got to play the aggressive try to rush against the 17 18 which did not work out for me he pops the blue uh, the green card so he nullifies about the cover chains for 10 time recovers right here so i kind of have to just let Beers eat all this damage right here, but he actually pops the blue card, so I was able to switch to Vegeta type advantage, right? So uh, we did get rid of his advantage, so I'm able to pop this blue card with Vegeta right there. I probably should have did a full range strike attack, probably, so I can actually get more off the combo instead of just that blue card. He pops another long range blast type neutral again, bro, so Vegeta's coming in clutch. I pop the strike card, get another combo, pop the main ability, you nullify know, spells to cover change. So if he does go to sell, you know, whoever. Is what I died from that. He's on the seven. He's on the 18 side. And I go for that low health. So right, I get my advantage back with Vegeta. He's tapping me. He's trying to get me to use my advantage. So I go here, tap him out. Right, I'm chilling here. Pop the green card. Trying to see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get a PV off me right here. So I'm just chilling, waiting for him to decide that right on time. He attacks me. The IPV evolution Vegeta just pops the old card and just mercs 18 like he remembers that he got his revenge bro he remembered what you did what 18 did to his left arm bro like broke his left arm with that kick bro he, he ain't forget that bro he ain't forget that he knows that just because y'all on the same team he ain't gonna forget he ain't gonna forget what you like he tried to humiliate him like that bro like that like he remembers that bro so get the get the old card 18 for sure so yeah here he actually pops the old card like that i was that was such a that was such a crazy move that he did right there that I had to like just, I just had to just like congratulate him. Like, like I was impressed that he just popped the old car like that, like a mid-range old car, bro. That's a that's a 10 out of 10 play. But he was trying to tackle me, and then we was able to win with Beerus right there. Was able to get that last card in and get the dub. Yeah. So Evolution Vegeta definitely teed up in that match for sure, bro. Like he, you know, what I'm saying like he was he like the the fact that he was able to pop the blue cards and be type neutral against red really kind of helped dealing with the damage and slowly getting their health down and stuff so we are here on the last match we're facing up against a saiyan team basically he has g4 he has mui goku so i bring in the green vegeta instead of the blue beerus because of g4 so i'd rather just have a unit that's type neutral against everyone than a unit that's type neutral type advantage and a type disadvantage i'd rather just have a type neutral unit Type neutral unit on two of his units and type advantage against one. So I'd rather have that. So that's why I rock in with the green Vegeta. So I sized up there. He's just trying to, you know, I gotta stay patient with the auto gauge and everything. So yeah, tackle them there. I'm trying to get, like I said, I'm trying to get rid of his gauge. He pops the blast card. And yeah, so able to counter him right there. And he is just chilling. Like, like I said, but you can't play aggressive with MUI. You kind of have to stay patient. But right there, I try to play aggressive because my gauge was gone. So if he was attacking me, I wouldn't be able to auto gauge. So uh, yeah, um, he's able to get this combo going. Um, I think right now I'm thinking like, oh, he must have a rush. That's what I'm thinking. But he does pop the blast card right there. So I'm able to cover change right there, pop the blue card and go type neutral. 
didn't do that much damage but it's something at least right so uh, I sized up there go to green vegeta to type to, to tap him out because if I attack immediately he'll do the auto gate and do more damage to the vegeta right so I'm able to get that combo lock him in with green vegeta with the old card and kill MUI Goku right there so now we put ourselves in a 3v2 situation which is a really really good spot because he doesn't have a unit that does extra damage to yellows right with the for my evolution vegeta and we're just in a great spot right now we're in a really great spot so i just gotta land my combos bro i still don't have my rush bro it's been 50 time accounts and only have three dragon balls that's absolutely insane that's insane so pop the main here i see him size up so i pop my blast card and he actually transformed with the blue vegeta so i think i actually stay in with the goku i believe right i think i actually stay in with him yep chilled here and then i pop the green card i see him sidestep in there so i just instantly just pop that strike card then i pop the old card i'm not gonna do that much against vegeta but i just want to just at least use it just to get the damage off before i leave and switch to somebody else so pop the old card right there it actually did surprisingly really really good damage right there that was type disadvantage and like it's blue vegeta like my goodness you're not supposed to take that much damage from a red bro like and you're a defensive transforming unit you're not, you're not supposed to take that much damage from a red bro not not at all and i think he's actually zenkai buff from namek goku too so yeah he goes to g4 right there i thought i sized that right there but the game let me just keep drifting so i couldn't really do much right there so i just used my universe cover change with anyway goku to stop his combo and what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to get rid of g4's 80 percent cut because he still has his 80 percent cut because this is like his first time bringing him in right so he's not trying to let his 80 percent go away but i'm finally able to tap him out there he goes to the blue vegeta so i attacked and i thought he was going to pop the rush but he does not pop the rush he actually just chains these cards together and i'm actually kind of nervous to switch into the green vegeta right so i kind of just have to let this go to eat a little bit of damage then he actually combo drops right there so i go to the green vegeta here sidestep and then i go to evolution vegeta to sidestep but the game does not let me sidestep for some reason legends toshi uh kai uh you yeah like like you didn't want me to sidestep right there right so i was able to guess his rush but you guys literally saw me trying to sidestep when he popped the rush and the game did not let me rush so now evolution vegeta is dead right like that was not supposed to happen i was supposed to be in a 3v1 situation i was supposed to sidestep chain up rock do a strike card on the vegeta and then rising rush but then now i put myself in this tricky situation because the game's input does not want me to use evolution vegeta to sidestep that right so we do kill off the blue vegeta um luckily right so now we're in a what's the name we are in a 2v1 situation with a low health goku he actually over tapped right there so i actually go to the green vegeta here just so i can Reduce the timer counts of uh, what's the name? So just in case he pops the old card with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I'm able to just switch to the MUI Goku because he has like absolutely sliver of health. And right now I need to prioritize Green Vegeta, right? So I don't want him to kill MUI Goku and then like have his old card and stuff. And it's a 1v1. So yeah, I still am barely living with the MUI Goku. I go with a mid range strike just to bait out his damage, but uh, he actually tried to go for the tap and we get the win right there so evolution vegeta and you goku evolution kind of like did his thing you know i still would recommend kyle and goku but just wanted to rock evolution i mean vegeta and goku's you know strongest forms in the anime together just for a dope video so hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and more grew up man and i am out peace